in this video i will teach you how to enable hermes first you have to understand what is hermes hermes is a new javascript engine using in react native project so in the old versions of react native hermes was in experimental section so it is not enabled by default but in the latest versions hermes is enabled by default so I am going to explain how to enable Hermes in the old versions of React Native. I have created a React Native project enable Hermes and it let us check what is the React Native version in this project. React Native is 0.69.5, React is 18.0.0. So by default in this uh, React Native version, Hermes JavaScript engine is not enabled. So in this video, I am explaining how we can enable Hermes engine. First, let us check app.js file. Here I have used global.hermes internal. This is the, an object which will return true or false depend upon whether the Hermes JavaScript engine is enabled or not in our project. If it is written false, that means Hermes is not enabled. If it is written true, that means Hermes is enabled. So what I did is in this app.js file, I have created a function is Hermes. It will return negation negation global dot Hermes internal. That means it will return what is the value inside global dot Hermes internal. And if I uh, write a console dot log Hermes enabled and I am calling that is Hermes function. So when we load the application on the emulator or any physical device, this app.js file will be executed and this console will be shown on this terminal. So first let me exit this project, clear the terminal and run the application, npm start. At the same time in the Android studio, I have opened Android folder of enabled Hermes and the React Native Garden plugin and the Garden scripts are there. First, let me uh, sync a project with the Gradle files. Let us go to build terminal. Build is going on. Let us wait. Yes, build is successful in 11 seconds. Now, uh, let us run the application on our emulator Pixel 6 Pro API level 29. Let, let me run the application. Let us open React Native side and emulator so we will understand. First, let me close this one. Let us check what is happening. Yes, it is going on. Yeah, it is going to launch on the emulator. Yes, the project is loading. App is opened. Yes, look at here. Our app is opened and running enable Hermes with the root tag 1. Hermes enable false. That means this console log returns uh, enable Herm en Hermes enabled false. That means is Hermes function. If you go to definition, this one is the definition. Also is Hermes is equal to uh, negation negation global dot Hermes internal. That means this global object with the Hermes internal key return false for this uh, project as of now. That means Hermes uh, JavaScript engine is not enabled in this uh, React Native version and in this uh, project. So, uh, first step, let us go to uh, Android Studio in order to enable Hermes uh, JavaScript engine. Go to Gradle scripts, then build the dot Gradle in the module app section. Open this build dot Gradle. Here we can see project dot ext dot react is equal to bracket open enable Hermes false. This is why. Uh, this is the reason we call this enable Hermes uh, false. So, in order to enable Hermes in this project, I have to change this false to true. Then save the file. In the build dot gradle module app, we have built gradle in the project level, but we have to open in the uh, app level build dot gradle. I make, make I change it to true. So uh, it is commented there. If we change it. You have to do the clean and rebuild process. So let us go to build and clean project. Let cleaning is going on. Let me close this pop up. Let us go to build terminal. Yes, it is going on. Yes, build is successful in 9 seconds. Now let us go to rebuild the project. We 
because after clean we have to rebuild if change so rebuild the project rebuild the project is going on let us wait it's going on Build the Android run tasks. Yes, build is successful in 47 seconds. Uh, now I think we can start. Uh, wait, here Gradle files have changed since last project sync. The air project sync may be necessary for IDA to work properly. Okay, let us sync now. We have done some changes because we have enabled Hermes by changing it to true. So we then did clean and rebuild and we have to do the Gradle sync again. What's going on? Gradle project sync in progress. Yes, I think it is about to complete. Yes, build is successful in 22 seconds. Okay, now let us the uh, let us run the app again. Let us go to emulator and let us open our Android. Um, oh, sorry, uh, React Native side in VS Code. Uh, let me close this app, which is currently open. Just check Android Studio. Build Android Studio is going on. Okay. After build process, if it is successful, then it will launch the app on the emulator again. Yes, launching app on Excel 6 Pro AP29. Yes, launch succeeded. Yes, it is loading here. Uh, yeah, look at here. Uh, yes, you see here. Uh, Hermes enabled true. That means look at here. Engine Hermes. For React Native 0.69.5. Before it was not there. Right now it is a Hermes for React Native 0.69.5. So right now we are using new JavaScript uh, engine uh, which is known as Hermes. So we enabled Hermes. I will close the app again and I will open again. You see, uh, look at here in the terminal, VS Code terminal, project is loading and Hermes enabled true. So we uh, enabled Hermes JavaScript engine React Native project. Thank you.